Fighting games these days are what's being called a life service game. They will constantly be updated with new characters and balance changes. And I thought, wouldn't it be a cool idea to talk about Street Fighter V's now that's at the end of its life cycle and talk about the most buffed character. Here I mean a character that got buffed the most from their release up to the point we are right now. And that character is... So this probably surprised you, but Juri really moved from being one of the worst characters in Street Fighter V's history to being one of the best characters in the game right now. I will go over some of the changes that Juri got and trust me, you will not believe what you're seeing. One of Juri's main combo routes, the main bread and butter, standing medium bunch into standing medium kick, that was simply not possible during season 1. You can now juggle a heavy bunch uppercut after her heavy kick fuha in the corner and this simply wasn't possible before. This is done now because of a 10 frames deduction in recovery to this move. This also meant that a much bigger V trigger combos are now possible. And believe it or not, we're still sticking with Heavy Kick Fuha because this move is now super cancelable and V-Skill cancelable, significantly increasing Juri's damage output and V-Trigger gain. They also reduced the distance on hit on Juri's Light Punch Pinwheel, allowing her to pressure the opponents after, made it plus 2 up from plus 1 so she gets a true throw game, which simply wasn't possible before. As speaking of her forward throw, it now leaves her closer to the opponent, so she did better both throw okay. The target combo, this also got buffed because now it hits crouching opponent and you can go for a store and then heavy bunch uppercut or pinwheel, which is a lot more damage than what she used to get previously. Julie also can now link a crouching medium kick after her standing medium bunch, allow her to confirm from even further distances. Her standing medium bunch is also now more blast on hit and a lot of her heavies are faster and that allow her to have better counter hit combos for much better damage output. Speaking of damage, her flip kicks are now much easier to combo into, you can get heavy or EX version from her standing heavy bunch, significantly increasing her combo damage. And on that note, her EX flip kick is now projectile invincible from frame 1. This makes her much better versus fireball characters.
One other very significant change is that Yuri's fireball now goes further, it's a lot more active and this significantly improves her neutral game. And obviously her V-Trigger was a 3 bars V-Trigger but Capcom have reduced it to a 2 bars V-Trigger and they improved her V-Trigger combos and her V-Gage gain so it's a lot more effective. She also got a lot of other changes that it would just take too long to mention but improved normals, a little bit more damage here and there, a little bit more HP although that was a bit universal. In general she's a character that got improved so much, her core power level went up tremendously, she didn't get as much new tools per se but her reward for landing the hit have significantly increased and that have placed her much higher on the tier list now than she used to in the previous seasons, especially season 1 when she was truly awful. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment, it helps the channel so much. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon, Discord, Twitter and Twitch pages in the description. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.